the God that makes the lame to walk. You are the God who makes the blind eyes see. You are the God who gives me victory. Hello, this is Ebenezer Tabernacle International. We just concluded the day two of the program Ember Without Tears. Life with Apostle Philemo, Ehimak, and Marvel Jokes, all the way from Auchi. <laughs> Connects you to that place. My husband's village. Obedu is your husband's village. Professor, professor, whoever is fighting your finances oh. in that village, madam, I saw something in the spirit. I see myself in Obedu now, and I see something that belonged to you on a tree. And the Holy Ghost opened my eyes. You know what they use for decoration? Decoration. 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 I see something they use for decoration. On the tree. I don't know. Were you into decoration? Yes. You were into decoration? Yes. Huh? How come they carried full canopy? Full canopy like this. It's on top of a tree. full canopy on top of a tree and on this canopy I'm hearing oh yes exactly oh yes exactly oh yes renters exactly Jesus. Oracle professor oh. you are complaining money is not staying in your hands no matter how much. not knowing that they are using your money and your businesses to trade in your husband village. Neither let me pray and kill that person. second chance yes do you believe god can turn this around yes yeah? mm. the lord is restoring your international doors Amen. he's restoring your international doors that have been tampered from the pinnacle satan has struck and brought you down you know what i said yes. satan struck and brought you down yes, and it's because of your family yes, sir. your family mm. that's what i see but the Lord will have me pray for you okay. and restore your destiny. Amen. You hear what I said? Yes, sir. Your destiny is going to be restored. Amen, sir. Your home is going to be restored. Amen, sir. You know Lagos? Yes. Yeah. Huh? Yes, sir. What connects you to Lagos? Contracts. I saw something. 
I saw something. There is a place called Banana Island. Banana Island. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. I see God opening your doors there. Amen, sir. Huh? Yes, you know real, real estate? Real estate. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Real estate. Yes, sir. What, what, what's the link you have with it? Because I see God opening your doors in real estate. Real estate. Real estate management. Like those who sell building, who build house sell, build house sell, build house sell. have a connection with some international people. With international people? Yeah. How did I know? Did you tell me? <laughs> huh? You know the issue? You people will talk. It looks as though even MOUs and certain papers are flying. But at the end, it won't work. You get close to it, you won't get it. You get close to it, you won't get it. In the next 21 days, if God called me, eh, uh -huh. the international door that is open, we pay you. <laughs> 21 days from now, in the name of Jesus. Can and the man of God is a great man of God. The hearing of him, this to be our way, our mentor team is coming out. Thank you for that. Thank you. Grandfather left yes. behind. Yes, I am. Eh? Yes, sir. My, even my father. They left be your your grandfather left the idol for your father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That idol is fighting every member of your family. From first born to last born. As I look in your family, if as what I'm telling you now, did, have you ever told me once ever? No, sir. You, you no, told sir. anybody here? No, sir, no, sir. Say it if you no, sir. ever no, no, sir. I'm inside your father's house now. I'm inside your father's house. It got to a time you intervened. Yes, sir. Prayers. Yes, sir. We, I went eh? to, I went you both to went to the house. house. Yes, sir. Right? Yes, sir. And did what you did. The spirit of the idol is still in your father's house. When you both destroyed idols, there is one idol you both did not destroy. The idol was buried in your mother's room in your father's house. They bury the idol like a pot upside down. You know, at the back of the house, some places are fall, fall, yes, so fall. Yes, that place that fall, the idol is inside the place. As long as that idol is there, nobody will prosper. It was a covenant they made that because your grandfather was losing his children, so he went, he went to a village called Ilushi to get idols to protect his children. And now the children are protected. What he signed with the idols was to protect the children and to take their finances. Your father, poor. Everybody, poor. His brothers, poor. Nobody has, even to build a house is a problem. Yes, Land sir. is a problem. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. On the premise of this prophecy, uh -huh. anyone who is father or mother brought an idol, Professor. you didn't know about it. But the idol has been fighting you. Uh, As you jump and shout, Amen. That idol will melt, yeah. my friend. Yeah. Uh, I said that idol will melt by fire. This is God, God is our God because of me. When I am in the ministry to now, I just the grace of God I suppose the man of God this is out of God internationally. To be among the pastors, among the souls, and I still say about the Lord. I actually I don't really have the word to qualify. The man of God is true, the right man of God. See God said, it's a gift to heaven and to the kingdom. It's a gift from God to heaven and to the kingdom. I this I love you, love this ministry, everything I want to My name is Pastor Seth. I'm going to actually see 
it's not just the place where people come, it's an act. It's not just the place, it's more than a gathering. It's an act where, where, where people are being ushered into the presence of God. Beniza Tabana, Kukriki, and some prayer. It's a ground where you, uh, humanity meets with divinity. And in return, divinity handles the affairs of man. So Beniza Tabana is a shield. The place where you stay and your life can be the same. My name is Mr. Festus Omati. Today is the second time of worshiping here. The service was awesome. It was wonderful. The prophetic was accurate. And I feel excited. I feel I own the whole world when the man of God located me. And tell me about my future and my past. You know what God told me? This guy has that. He loves God. You don't put your hand in things that are hot. You don't make trouble. You're not a troubled person. Now, God, for that reason, will elevate you. Amen. Will lift you so high Amen. that even the rich will call you rich. Amen. The blessed will call you blessed. Amen. The wealthy will call you wealthy. Um, this fellowship is a great one. I think um, it's one of the churches that God has sent to be some era to liberate men and restore men to their life. Oh, wow, it's up about five years now. The fellowship, fellowship in this um, um, church. I'm not just a member; I'm also a worker. Wow, I will start by saying that any program organized by Ebenezer Tabernacle International always take a different dimension. The test of the prophetic, the test of the healing, the power, and every other thing. It's only taking a different dimension. But today, I'm very grateful. I'm happy that I was recruited and I will prophesy upon. So that was going to happen to my brother. And the most great part of it was that the man of God actually prayed for him that, and told me that it will not hold. So with that, I'm very excited. And I will urge my viewers, wherever they are, as we find a time to come and worship in Ebenezer. Indeed, God is there. Thank you. I hope you had a nice day, you heard them from all those who testified and all those who came here to give their confirmation to different prophecies that happened today. And this is the day two of the Ember Without Tears and it happened live and direct all the way from out we had Martha Jones and he will be ministering here again tomorrow. Be our guest, same venue is happening at Ebenezer Tabernacles International and I believe you are going to be blessed. Have a wonderful evening. My name is Bernard Solomon, I'm reporting for Event TV. You are the God that opens every door. You are the God that makes the lame to walk. You are the God who makes the blind eyes see. You are the God who gives me victory. You're the God that opens every door. You're the God that makes the lead to walk. Oh yeah. You are the God who makes the blind eyes see. You are the God who gives me victory.